Hi everybody, it's your girl Fresh Feed and for today I'm going to be showing you how to do the tricep dips. As you can see, I have my equipment to help me out. But you can do it using a chair, you can do it on the floor, you can use a box, you can use a table, whatever. Now, first thing is the hand placement. Make sure your palm is placed right under your shoulder, over here on each side, okay? And then, when you're going down for the dip, make sure your shoulder is not, you're not hunched over. You need to first of all roll the shoulder back, roll it back, keep it nice and tall, keep your neck nice and tall, okay? You can have bent knees, it's actually the easier version, the bent knee. And then, with your fingers facing your heel, you go dipping, bent knees, you go dip, Notice, no matter how high, whatever thing, whatever you're using, no matter how high it is, do not go past 90. So you dip down, see your triceps, and you come back up. When you come back up, do not lock those elbows. Don't go locking the elbows, no. Really nice, a little bit soft. Go back down, come back up. If you want to make it harder or more advanced, straighten out those legs, go down, Again, go down, come back up, don't lock the elbows, go down, come back up, go down, come back up. Now, the common mistake people make is they don't go down, they use their hips and they take away the end, which is actually the triceps, the muscle that deals when we wave that muscle. That is what we're trying to tighten. So when you're coming with your hips, you're taking away from actually working those triceps. So remember, whether you're doing it with bent knees or straight legs, do not go this way, no. Go this way, this way, and don't lock those elbows out. Or you go this way, which is a more advanced version. And that is how to do the tricep. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, Give the thumbs up to share and subscribe.